We have received feedback on 3D touch usage problems and summarized the facts of these situations for your reference. Situation 1. 3D touch automatic leveling stops at the first point and reports an error. The first situation is that the automatic leveling stops at the first point and reports an error. There are probably four reasons for this situation. Next we will explain the solution to this situation. Reason 1. The parameters in the firmware do not work. Use Visual Studio Code to open the configuration file in the Marlin firmware. Enable EEPROM settings. Next, enter the advanced settings on the screen to initialize the EEPROM. Then store settings. At last load settings. Now it can be automatically leveled normally. Reason 2. Z offset value is too small or not configured in the configuration file. Now we set the offset on the screen. Adjust according to the Z offset value calculated by yourself. Finally save and load the data. After the setting is completed, automatic leveling can be carried out. Reason 3. Problems caused by incorrect installation of 3D Touch. When auto leveling, Z underline and stop is triggered earlier than the 3Touch probe. The first solution is to install the 3D Touch to a lower position. The correct installation position of 3D Touch is when the probe is not extended, the probe is higher than the nozzle. When the probe is extended, the probe is lower than the nozzle. And ensure that when the Z axis moves down, the Z axis will not trigger to the end stop first but the 3D touch will trigger the platform first. And make sure that the probe first touches the platform when the Z-axis moves down, instead of the Z-axis first touching the Z-axis and stop. We will not demonstrate here, we will mainly introduce the second solution. The second solution is to set the range of sharp defined Z-probe low point in the configuration file to be larger. For example, change 2 to 3, after the range is increased, the 3D touch can continue to detect the platform even if the Z-axis is triggered to the Z-axis end stop. But please note that the range value cannot be changed too much. Otherwise the Z-axis will crush the Z-axis end stop. Reason 4. The probe signal wire of the automatic leveling is not connected to the right position. Here you can see that the 3D touch probe did not extend during the leveling process, and the indicator light kept flashing. The solution to this problem is to check the probe pin setting in the firmware configuration file. Then check whether the probe signal cable connected to the motherboard is connected incorrectly. Take MKS Robin Nano V2 as an example. Zmax and stop is enabled here as probe pin. The pin of S signal is PC4. Here you can see that the signal wire and the ground wire are connected reversely. 
Just swap the two wires and connect them to the motherboard. Situation 2. The second situation is that the 3D touch stops at a certain point during the automatic leveling process and reports an error. You can see that during the leveling process, the 3D touch probe did not trigger to the platform at the third point, causing an error and stopping the leveling. One reason for this is that the Sharp Definis probe low point range setting in the firmware configuration file is too small. And a certain point of the platform is too low, causing the probe to not be able to reach the platform. The solution is the same as the reason 3 in the previous situation 1 and will not be explained here. Situation 3. After the 3D touch automatic leveling is completed, the data will not work after the power is off. Automatically level first. The data is not saved. And the Z-axis is not compensated for up and down movement during printing. First of all, make sure that the configuration file has enabled EEPROM. Then store settings. At last load settings. Set automatic saving of leveling data on the configuration file. Enable ZProbe and script in the configuration file. Change the execution instruction after leveling to M500 and M501. Now you can see that the Z axis can move up and down normally to compensate. 